Here we go. What's up, Homestead homies? It's Hoochman Homestead time. Yep, it is a blustery day outside, and I can't believe it. We have not been in these rocking chairs for a long time. I really missed it. Did you guys miss it? Yep. <laughs> I, I miss it. Fresh off the uh, Tiny House Jamboree. I'm working on the video for that. I'm going to have a great big massive video with all kinds of information. I'm not going to break it up, I don't think. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I haven't really dove into it yet to just see what we have accumulated. Um, so I'm going to have that up for you guys. I'm just going to give you a little rundown real quick. Then we're going to have, uh, I have two videos left. One's from the Curtis Stone Workshop, and then one was a very interesting man that we met in Topeka, Kansas. I'm going to try to put those up for you this week. And then we leave Thursday because we're going to Layman's. So I hope you guys are going to come. No matter how far the drive is, if you ever wanted to have an excuse to go to Layman's, uh, the non-electric store in Kidron, Ohio, this would be it. We'll be there the 3rd and the 4th. It's a Friday and a Saturday. Pretty much all day, both days, and we're gonna be hanging out. We, you know, if you guys uh, have small YouTube channels or big YouTube channels, and you want to shoot video, ask us questions. You can do that for your channel. You guys could come and just hang out. They're gonna have food and door prizes. Go it's shopping. A totally free event. So yeah. we really hope to see you there, Kidron, Ohio, at Layman's. In and the so, heart of Amish country. Yeah. So today we're gonna to be talking about castor oil because I got back. And Stacy's like, I've been wanting to do this video and for so a long time. I thought, man, this would be a good one to slip in real quick while it. I work on the other stuff. <laughs> All you right. know, we, we always like to talk about uh, things that you can get a lot of uses for. And I love castor oil. It is it's a plant and it's pretty much native of Africa or India. But and it, it is a plant when you extract the oil. And when you do use castor oil, you want to get a cold pressed. Right. You know, people, let's talk about cold press real quick. You know, you, when we talk about getting oils and things, you want them cold pressed and people are like, what the heck is cold pressed? Cold press means it's, it's cold pressed and it's treated when it's extracted. It's not high heat. The stuff's not taken so out. So basically it's heat. like smashed and all the juice comes out versus like a boiling or something. And then what happens when you do something with heat, you lose all the benefits. Nutrients. You yeah. know, we always talk about Canning is out, food. fermenting is in. When you do food, you don't want to go higher than like 118 degrees because you're going to start losing the nutrients. So the same thing, when you're getting these oils, you want to keep them as good as you can. Right. So you want them cold pressed, and you also want the castor oil, when you buy it, to be hexane free. And hexane the is... The hexane is that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hexane is kind of a, like a petroleum product, and it's a chemical. So you don't want any of that stuff. So if you're going to utilize any of these things, and what I'm talking about today is for your skin and your hair, yeah. you definitely don't want to have any chemical stuff like that going on. So when on you read your the energy. label, they'll actually see it'll say, it'll say clearly hexane, hexane free. free. Yes. Okay. Cold press there hexane free for sure. Can't I knew start. you were wondering. So here's the main reason I wanted to do this video. Okay. Because I do experiments on myself all the time to see if things work. Um, and I started doing this, uh, it's been going on a couple years and I would stop just to see if what was happening, you know, was real. And I started using it to take my eye makeup off originally. And from that, I noticed that, and I had, I had, I hardly have any eyelashes or very thin and I noticed my eyelashes were getting thicker. They're getting a little longer. And I was even, um, my dark circles under my eyes were fading. So I knew something must be going on, you know? So I definitely can say that using castor oil, from my opinion, works for <laughs> strengthening and, and my eyelashes, making them thicker and longer. And then also I would use a little and I put it on my eyebrows. So if you guys are having thinning eyebrows and have anything like that, by putting on, it's really helpful too, okay? Now one thing about castor oil, it is an antibacterial, it's an antiviral, and it's an anti-inflammatory. So- And it's hypoallergenic. Yeah, it is, it definitely is. So if you have sensitive skin, you may notice, hey, this works pretty good for me. Yeah. And uh, it's very thick. That's why a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, because it's very, 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 very thick. So you might even want to use it 
when you are like mixing it with other oils. So if you want to put it with a cocoa, a coconut oil or a jojoba oil or um, grapeseed oil or something if you're mixing it and you may want to put it on if you want to use that for your eye makeup remover or however but before you do anything always test it on a patch of skin to see if you do have any sensitivities but people generally that have sensitive skin can tolerate this I like to mix it I a lot of times I might put it in my soaps that I make because it emulsifies very good with other um, oils and um, it, it is just wonderful for uh, let's say you have like blemishes or um, age spots or scars. It's really good to kind of help them and help to fade them. Um, and another thing that I like to talk about is if you have a scar, let's say you had a cesarean section or um, let's say you had heart surgery or something like that or you had a, have a big scar. Cut yourself off barbed wire. Yeah, and it's, a, and it's a scar. And even if it's a scar that's 20 years old, you can get some of the oil and castor oil and then wherever the scar is and what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of massage it every day with it and the scar hopefully can go away or you know some of the um, age spots or however the scars could kind of definitely fade over time so that's pretty neat to do yeah. so if you get blemishes on your face maybe put a little dab there it's also really good like if you have acne Believe it or not, I was like, actually, Andy, how could that work? Because it's so thick. But, you know, if you put some on there and then see what happens. I mean, you know, a lot of this stuff is, you know, you use it. And I use this for if I get little scratches on my hand. I like to put it on my fingernails because it's very thick. So I put it on my fingernails. I put it on Doug's fingernails and I push the cuticles down on it because it's a very thick oil. And it really helps, especially with winter coming, to help with your hands and then your heels and your feet. Um, it's just really, really helpful. And that's um, going to strengthen your fingernails and the connections to your skin and everything. And maybe you'll grow hair on your fingernails. Yeah, some <laughs> hairy fingernails. But, uh, but for sure, I'm kind of going, you know, kind of away from where I was starting. But it's, for sure, it's really good for your eyelashes and your eyebrows. Now, let's say you're having like little patchy spots in your hair and you may be losing your hair or your hair is thinning. It could also help with that. Um, it also could be something having to do with maybe immune system, right. thyroid problems, or your gut health or something, which but is fine. Just generally yeah. speaking. But and just like um, if you use it uh, for like a cold sore, right? There's probably an underlying issue why you're getting them, but it could help if you do get them if, when you feel it kind of coming on, you just put a little on there and it could uh, you know, help with that. I thought you were going to start talking about cancer. Well, I was going to say if you want to grow a beard like a boss, you can start putting it on your beard, uh, Howard. And then, uh, you know, but you might get a little thickened up, a little, a little more luxurious. But you don't want to actually put it just on the beard. It's That's going to help because you're going to have that good, um, you know, the proteins in there. But what you want to do is you, you get a little of the castor oil, put it on your fingers. You don't, and remember. Just a dab and do you. You don't need, this little bitty bottle will last forever, <laughs> forever, because you don't need that much. Right. You're only going to get a little, you'll see when you put it on your fingers or and when you rub it in. So if you want to mix it with some coconut oil or just keep it like that, you rub it and then you're going to kind of get into the cheek and the chin and the neck and get the, into the, where the follicle is and right. all that. Right. And then see what happens. You guys, if you want to have your beard to start to grow, yeah, definitely. And then when you take your shower, okay, my secret's out. That's how you do it. But for your hair, it would be the same thing. So, like, you would put a little bit on your fingers, and then you would just want to massage your scalp, scalp. or maybe the patches where you're having problems. And then, you know, if you want to go ahead and go to sleep at night, and then in the morning you could wash your hair or do whatever, and maybe do it once or twice a week and see what happens. It's you know? all natural. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. And we went over uh, not to get the certain kind. Yeah, you want hexane cold press. Hexane cold um, press. Organic. Free. Make yep. sure it's organic, organic for sure because we want to make it as pure, pure as we possibly can. Um, it's also good and I love it a lot because I use it for a, like a kind of like after conditioner. So I'm using it. I put it on my fingernails. I do it for my, you know, eyebrows and my eyelashes. But then I'll rub it in my hands and just I'll have a little bit of it left over. And then I just do the ends of my hair. And look at that stuff. Okay, and it really does help. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I mean, I can't tout enough how, how 
It's a universal good product. It's something that you guys can use on a lot of different things. Yeah, and then here's the other thing, um, anti-aging, because it got, does help promote, you know, collagen and elastin in the skin. Yeah, I mean, I'm 80, so, she's 92. Yeah, and so definitely, you know, if you want to use this, if you're making your homemade beauty care products, right. you know, it's always good to put a little bit of castor oil in with that. So, you know, a lot of times I do, I make my wet wipes. Um, and I use are the hand wipes and all that. So a lot of times I'll put a little castor oil in there. I use almond oil. Sometimes I do castor oil. I like the castor oil. I make my lotions. You can put that in there. And then, oh, here's one more. <gasps> so here's one that's awesome. So it comes out just, I mean, this little dab. little dab. I'm going to have to give him some for his fingernails. But, like, it's so thick. Oh. That was way too much. Lip moisturizer. It is the best. Come here. Mm. Give me your fingernails. It would have been better if you just sort of kissed me with your lips. <laughs> so, and you just put it on, and I, I love this stuff. And it, it really goes a long way. Yeah, we just use a it little bit. So much. Yeah. And then long eyelashes. Yeah. Long beard. So hair, eyebrows, the eyelashes, grow your beards, replace patches hair. in your hair. Yeah. Good for your fingernails. I mean, this stuff is all over the place. You want one more bonus? Cold sores, acne. One more bonus. Bonus. Okay. Dandruff. Oh, so a lot of people. Why? Dry skin. Dry well, and, and 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 dandruff can help or cause people not to be able to grow their hair as much. Right. So because it's antibacterial and antiviral, there's stuff going on here in your uh, um, in your body that is causing the dandruff. So what you can do is by putting a little castor oil on if you have dandruff, then it can help alleviate that problem, get rid of the dandruff, and help your hair start wanting to come out again and grow. Cool. Beans. So there's another one right there. That's it. So, hopefully, you guys got some nuggets from this video. She's been on me about making this casserole video. Yeah, because we we're going to try to do it before I left, and then when we got back, this, so it's a perfect uh, little filler for you guys until I can get these other videos edited. So yeah, and then I use it's this, important stuff. I use this or acacia. It's an organic um, castor oil, and it's hexane free. Yeah. So we'll, the links will be below. If you oh, you want, yeah, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll go ahead and yeah. Amazon link yeah. it, and it helps the homestead. So don't forget, layman's this weekend, Friday and Saturday. All day, both days, lots of good times, totally free event. We're going to be hanging out. I mean, we're just going to be like you guys are coming over for a backyard barbecue. <laughs> I know. I'm really looking forward to it. it yeah, it'll be, be fun. fun. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys are coming to Layman's this weekend, I want to see everyone with a nice shiny lip. So <laughs> eyebrows and fingernails, too. <laughs> That's it. All right. We'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow.